Hi guys, Arwen here, and I want to talk about one of the most powerful mindset shifts that I had in 2017. Okay, so throughout 2017, I really got seriously grounded in my manifestation practice, in my energy practice, in my journaling, in my like changing everything in my reality around to the way that I wanted it to be. And I have ended up moving so far into creator brain and into Merlin brain, like it's not even funny, right? So earlier, in the beginning of 2017, I kept asking the universe, every day I was like, universe, show me how to manifest, show me how to manifest, show me how to manifest. And I wanted this so badly, and I kept asking over and over and over and over again, right? And I did this very intensely for like three months, <laughs> which that's a long time for me to manifest something now, like three months, it's like, no, 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 I'll have it next week, right? <laughs> but anyway, at the time, like that was, that was, that was where I was, right? I was at the top, at the place where in order to create like this dramatic shift, it took me a couple months. And so I um, ended up getting all these downloads in my head that showed me how to change my energy and change my frequency. I got like really specific downloads, journaling prompts, and things that showed me how to change my energy and how to do it fast and how to do it like on a solid level, meaning like I changed all of my frequency, right? That's one of the mistakes that I see people do when they're trying to manifest stuff. Like they don't make themselves a full vibrational match to the thing. They make themselves a partial vibrational match, but not all the way. And then they don't get the thing and then they don't understand what happened, right? So anyway, I learned how to, through following these steps that downloaded into my head, I learned how to make myself a match to what I wanted and actually literally freaking physically call that into my reality which made me so happy I can't even express because for so long like I've really wanted to really master like quantum physics and master being like this miss miss reality creation over here right like that was really important to me I was like this is part of like why I'm here on the freaking planet right it's to be able to manifest my dream life manifest what I want manifest it easily naturally and fast and like freaking do it now right so anyways I, the steps started to download into my head, I'm working them every day, and then I like decided to write them out into steps, right? And I'm like, okay, this step, this step, this step. And then it started to really form in my head, I was like, oh my goodness, like this is like fantastic, right? And then I just, all this, everything came together. All these like manifestation things that I've been like thinking for years, and like sometimes manifesting would work for me, and sometimes it wouldn't. Suddenly I just understood like all the reasons why sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't work, right? And it was just going through this process over and over again for each new desire that I had. I went through it for my desires to manifest more money at work, to make work easier for me, to get myself in alignment with my business, which before that I had been struggling to do because I couldn't find alignment, right? And these questions and, and making myself a vibrational match and following my steps and following my questions and following my journaling prompts that downloaded into my head. I ended up learning to become a vibrational match to what I wanted and then I suddenly understood how to make large scale changes in my life, right? And I was like, whoa, like this is really powerful. And then I started manifest all this cool stuff. <laughs> and then everybody around me was like, what are you doing? Like, how are you, how are you doing? Like all of this stuff, right? Oh my goodness, it was the best thing ever. <laughs> and then I got the people at work, I'm like, okay, we're gonna manifest stuff like now, we're gonna manifest stuff, stuff like Arwen does. I was just like, oh, whatever. But I know that they didn't know like the non-physical principles of the universe like I did. So I know that they didn't fully believe in it. So I didn't really, wasn't didn't really have a lot of confidence that they were going to manifest the stuff but they started to kind of see like okay wait a minute like well she's doing it so we can do it too right and there's a couple of friends that i've explained it to in great depth but anyway i had so many people asking me how are you doing this what are you doing da, 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 right that i was like okay like it downloaded on my head to make it into a course i was like of course i need to make it into a course right like that's part of my reason why I'm here on the planet is to teach manifestation because it's like my favorite thing ever in life, right? And and also, if you're going to stand fully in your power, like you have got to be standing fully in your manifestation powers, how to create things, standing in the version of you that already knows how to do what you know how to do, really living from your core, living from soul alignment, which is another like very, very core value of mine, which is that, you know, I choose for my whole life to be in soul alignment. I choose for everything to be in resonance with my heart, to be in resonance with my core, to be in resonance in here, right? But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So in in doing my manifestation steps, which I ended up calling my really manifestation steps, 
in doing that all of the time, I started to see my reality seriously shift and I started to create really cool stuff. Like I figured out how to manifest tables at work because I'm a part-time fine dining waitress and I do my business part-time. And I learned how to manifest these tables that would just come in and they would love me and then they would tip me $500. I was like, great, of course they did, right? Because I decided that that would happen, right? I get tables that would come in and order all the expensive wine. Of course they would, right? Because I decided I get to be the waitress that gets the tables that come in and they order the $320 bottle of wine and they order the $600 bottle of wine and they tip me 20%. Oh wait, and they tip me over 20%, right? And so, of course, all these things started happening, right? Of course, I started getting over 20% on all my chips, tips on all my checks because I decided, well, I get to get over 20%, right? Because they love me. <laughs> and so, and it was just, I had so much more fun at work and I manifested just the coolest tables, the best people, and it was just all around like good stuff, right? And then I ended up manifesting a free car, and then I manifested my other car, my old car that I was going to sell getting wrecked, and then I got a check from that, so I had like even more money, and I was like, this is fantastic, right? Everything in the universe is conspiring to help me manifest more cool stuff, right? Which you every, listen, you get to be in that state, you get to be in the vibrational state where you're manifesting everything that you desire and want. You get to be in the vibrational state where your desires come to you easily naturally right where you get all the things that you want and you can do it and you know how to light yourself up to it and then of course it happens because you understand quantum physics you understand like vibrational law and then it comes right and now that I understand this stuff it's not that hard right it's not that hard and now that I get it I'm like oh man I'm a manifesting maven over here <laughs> right it's so much fun it's such good stuff but what ended up happening through going through, you know, my Merlin manifesting steps and like doing them over and over again and manifesting all this cool stuff and learning all these things and like writing out my steps and then teaching it and then creating the course and all that is that I realized that I ended up moving into my creator brain, moving into my Merlin brain. I ended up moving into the version of me who is standing in her power, right? The version of me who is being a creator, not the version of me who's being a victim, right? Because before I really understood quantum physics and you know how to manifest things in like the reality of the universe, I was being a victim to things in my reality and I didn't understand it fully. I didn't know how to change it fully. And really, this is one of the most critical shifts like as a person that you need to make to manifest stuff. And that is to get out of victim brain and get into creator brain. Because when you have that perception, you can change anything and you can manifest whatever you want. And then you can actually, like you are the version of you that would take the manifestation steps and actually do it, right? Because if you're being a victim and you're kind of wallowing in that frequency set and that belief structure and that feeling state, right? And, and somebody tells you how to manifest stuff and you hear it and you're like, yeah, if you're choosing to stay in your victim mentality, you might not take the information that comes to you. You might not take the help that comes to you, right? You know, if you are more committed to being in victim state than you are being in creator state, you're just going to freaking stay there, right? And the whole universe is going to like go okay and then going to give you more of that, right? But if you are in creator brain, even if you're not exactly sure, how to do something, how to manifest something or whatever, you're going to figure it out because you're more interested in being successful than you are in having problems. And this is like really important. And this is a shift that, you know, I wouldn't have understood the importance of if I hadn't become the change, right? If I hadn't become the version of me that is fully in creative brain all the time. And quite frankly, what allowed me to do that and really move into this version of myself and this version of like my co-creative power into my core and be so solid in myself and who I am and what I know I can manifest and what I know I can do and trusting in my abilities and trusting in the universe and all of that was that I did my manifestation steps over and over and over and like I talk about in like I totally explain in my course. Like my manifest like a Merlin course, that's the whole freaking course, right? It's not just how to manifest. It's not just the journaling prompts to do that. It's not just how to change your energy and it's not just why to change your energy and it's not just like making sense of everything manifestation wise. Really on a larger scale level it's taking you to the version of yourself that's fully standing in your power and that is something 
you know, I couldn't have known when I started this. Like, I couldn't have known that a year and a half ago when I started saying to the universe, help me manifest stuff, help me manifest stuff, help me manifest stuff. Like, there's no way I could have known that. But now that I have, like, gone through this journey and done all the steps and really moved into this version of me, it's like, wow, look at that. I have changed so much. And it feels feels so good like I feel shivers going down my spine it feels so good because this is what I always wanted I always wanted to stand in my power I always wanted to be solid right I always wanted to be like operating from my core having the courage to operate from my core having the courage to stand in my power having the courage to choose what I want having the courage to line myself up with it and not care about what other people thought and not sit there and think that my whole reality that is around me is going to like self-sabotage or what if something happens or what if it all gets taken away like I no longer have those fears because I understand fully and I understand completely the whole universe is just a reflection of what I've got going on inside of me and therefore because I lined up myself and I know how to line up myself with whatever I want I can therefore line up the whole universe to support me and to sh and to give me the next step and to show me the next thing to do and to show me how to have more fun and I literally can call in anything that I want right I know that now and that makes me so like happy and grateful and I feel so good and I feel so fulfilled I just I can't even express it's such a good feeling and it is such good stuff. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys feel called, if you resonate what I have to say and it makes you feel excited and you're like, ah, like, oh my goodness, I need that, go check out my online course, Manifest Like a Merlin. It's on my website. It's on her courses. It's like the best thing ever. Like, I'm so proud of it. Oh my goodness. And when I finished it, I was like, ah. Like, I felt like I had painted, like, the most beautiful picture ever in life. I'm like, I am so happy. Like, I've taken everything that was in my brain. I've taken all this stuff, like, every single solitary thing. And I, and I poured my heart into the videos and the PDF. And, like, I have very specific journaling practices. I have Merlin perceptions as you go through the course because... You know, it's not just about manifesting your stuff. I mean, it is because that's what the whole freaking course is about. But it's also about being the version of you that is the most powerful. Being the version of you that's in, in their Merlin energy, in their creation energy, in their strong energy, in their like raw energy, right? <laughs> that's the whole point because we all want to feel in love with our life. And we all want to feel in love with our reality and the universe. And we all want to feel like, yes, I can do that, right? I can do that. And have I manifested every single thing I wanted? No, I have not. But I've manifested a whole lot of stuff already, right? But I know in my core, it doesn't matter because I feel aligned and I feel fulfilled because I've stepped into my power and I know how to line up my energy and I know how to manifest stuff and I know how to do it and I know how to get clear on my desires and I know how to make my myself a vibrational match and I know how to delete all the crap that doesn't need to be there, right? And I know how to line myself up with it for my highest and it's good and I know how to move in the version of me that already has it and I know how to emanate that and radiate that and be that and attract that and then get that right and so yeah like it's just really it is a way of being it's a way of being that is the best thing that I can sum up so yeah having the manifest like a Merlin course downloaded in my head was the best thing that happened to me in 2017 moving from this sort of like quasi victim brain thing that I had gone on moving over into creator brain has totally changed my life and allowed me to create on so many more levels and to create at such a deeper level and it just feels so good it feels so good because it feels like alignment it feels like alignment right so anyways, if you guys resonate with this story, if you feel excited at the thought of this, if you're like, oh, I should go check that out, then go check it out. It's like the best thing ever in life. And I'm not just saying that because I created it. I'm saying that because it really gives me so much joy. Well, I guess I'm saying it because I created it. <laughs> but it gives me so much joy and so much happiness. And it's the thing that makes me like most excited in the universe is to like share this stuff 
right? Because that's part of why I'm here on the planet to help other people step into their power, manifest their shit, and like be really happy, right? So you can totally, totally do it. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Go check out rmblothman.com slash manifest like a mer wait slash courses slash manifest like a Merlin. I don't know. It's on my website somewhere. You can find it. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.